and Raptor cry and boy is this man still going through bad ideas? <coughs> Fine. <coughs> Tonio, oh, Raptor's not pulled out tonight. I'm sorry. Who are they playing? Bro, just give it a chance. It doesn't take long to get good. Only episode 207. Tonio, yeah, no, I was sorry. I was just talking to you. Think of the 45 months. 45 months prime. You doing okay? I was. I was doing okay. For a time i didn't screenshot it man two days ago three days ago we had exactly fifty nine thousand followers we've since gone up 40 followers but billy oh yeah so hom is happy hom is eating right now good for him bad for tonio but good for him bad for tonio and bad for uh i think he goes by abdel on twitter now he used to go by the negro santa was his name and uh, he's just he's a big Raptors fan. And he's really funny on Twitter. So it's funny to see the Raptors do both good and bad because he's going to be making some funny tweets. I have it. Give me a sec. Shout out to Red Sky with no numbers for typing. I need the clip and then realizing he had to be the one to get the clip. There's a is it called a phallus fallacy? It's not called a phallus. Is it, is it called a fallacy? <laughs> when uh. What is it? There's a rule where, like, hypothetically, you're in public and someone starts having a seizure and they collapse to the ground and you go to help them. You can't just say, like, let's just say there's a crowd of 20 people around you. You can't just say someone call an ambulance like they do in the movies. They just go, someone call an ambulance. You can't just say out loud, someone call an ambulance. Because if you say someone call an ambulance, everyone will be like, OK, surely someone will call an ambulance and then nobody will do it. Right. Same thing with Twitch clips. You know what I mean? Uh, you're permitted, Red Sky. You can drop the link. Um, it's the same thing with Twitch clips. For the record, if somebody does collapse with a seizure and you run up to help them, and instead of saying someone call an ambulance, you have to look at someone. Someone who looks like they can get the job done. And you'd be like, you, call an ambulance. Call 911 right now. Bystander effect. Yeah. Same shit in, same shit in Twitch. I'll see, I'll see Twitch chats that are way more active than mine with, like, triple the viewership that we have right now. Like, we got solid viewership right now. I'm not complaining. Um, but, like, triple the viewership I have right now in, like, a way more active chat. Not that this chat isn't active also. That's the whole point. Um, and the most hilarious shit you've ever seen in your life will go on. Like, Omega Stream is a decent example. The most hilarious shit you'll ever see in your life will happen. And... Literally, 30 people will type, oh my god, someone clipped that. Oh my god, that's gotta be clipped. And then five minutes will go by in the stream and be like, where's the clip? And nobody did it. And you can go back and you can see that like 20 fucking people typed, oh my god, somebody clipped that. Nobody fucking clipped it. But Red Sky yelled, somebody clipped that, and then Red Sky went out and clipped it. Don't think AOT is one of the greatest pieces of fiction ever written. Right there with you, pal. Look, good start. Looking good so far. But I sure am enjoying One Piece. That pained me. <laughs> that hurt me. Back after my sad raptor cry and boy is then I had a sad raptor cry. Don't think AOT is one of the greatest pieces of fiction ever written. Right there with you, pal. Looking good so far. But I sure am enjoying One Piece.
Going straight to Twitter. Not if I get there first. Back after my sad raptor cry, and boy, is this man still going through bad ideas. It didn't have to be the full 60, but I don't care. I'll take it. I am putting this on Twitter, though, so, you know, get ready. My claim to fame cannot be getting embarrassed in front of chat. It was your opinion! <laughs> Cousin said he's in the middle of a slow part in One Piece right now. I asked him how long it's been. He said 33 episodes. Yeah, tell him that middle section lasts for 95% of it. Tell him that middle part only goes till episode 648. Any second now. See, this is the problem with this playlist. This is not relaxing. This song fucking sucks. What is this, Gen 3? Gen 4? This is Gen 4, isn't it? This song sucks fucking ass. No, this is Gen 3. It's gotta be Gen 3. How the fuck Temper's gonna throw this into a Pokemon playlist? This song fucking... This song eats shit. Alright, chat. Well, the tweet's up. I'm not saying you have to do anything with it. I'm just linking it to you so you know it's there. Only issue with One Piece is the art style. That's not my only issue with One Piece, but that is the key issue with One Piece for me. We meme One Piece's length, but when I tell you, I can't, like, I would love it if something I loved was, like, a thousand fucking episodes or manga chapters or whatever. Who gives a shit, right? That means I would have a thousand episodes of something baller to watch. You know what I mean? But it's, it's not, it's not something cool. It's just fucking One Piece. And I do, I genuinely hate Oda's art style. And it never improves, and it never gets better. And the women look like aliens, and the men don't look better. My roommates are playing Monopoly, I can hit them two rooms away. Sounds like an intense game. You might have to go referee. One Piece Kai is gonna be 373. I might watch One Piece Kai. Yeah, hypothetically, if that would ever exist, that would be the version I would watch. But the, <laughs> the, the idea that One Piece Kai is still like 400 episodes is fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, Hajime. Um, I want to say I've heard the name, but no. I don't, I don't know it. Is it like a basketball one? Or the, is that the volleyball one? Shout out to dogs in the Souls games for being the most annoying enemy ever created. I didn't get far enough to have to deal with the dogs, but you're not the first person I've heard say that. Hajime's boxing? No. What's the boxing one I've heard of? I watched season one of Megalobox. I haven't watched season two. I've heard it's not as good. Um, Rikudo? 
Is that the name of it? Toasty was real big on Rikudo for a while. But no, never really heard of Hajime. My god, am I not gonna watch a thousand or read a thousand chapters of fucking boxing though? Holy shit. I liked Mega Low Box season one, don't get me wrong, but I a thousand chapters of fucking boxing? Of boxing? It's an old manga series. What's the uh Detective Conan? Is that it? Is that the one that's actually gone on longer than One Piece? The clip of one of the main characters fighting a bear. Okay, hold on. Maybe this is worth it. Um. Chat. What's the longest running anime in the history of television? You guys get three guesses as a collective hive mind. As a collective hive mind. What's the longest running anime in the history of television? Hayaku's the volleyball one. Detective Conan? Nope. The Simpsons? Wrong again. It's Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw has been consistent weekly. Make a say in there it is, yeah. C consistent and weekly. Never taking a break. For like, what, 20 fucking years now? Something like that? Raw 1000 was like five years ago, wasn't it? Longer. Raw 1000 was further back than that. When was Raw 1000? Raw 1000 was like 10 years ago. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit Raw 2000 soon, surely. Wrestling has been crowned redneck anime for a while. Raw 1000 was 11 years ago. Holy shit. Whew. I am old. No, 11 years ago checks out. With the math I have. Lord of Anime grabbed a screenshot of, uh... Me when Weeb said Attack on Titan was peak fiction versus me when Weeb said he was enjoying One Piece so far. Twenty twelve? Okay, so ten years ago. <laughs> Fucking Lord of Anime grabbed the... <laughs> It's also, it's so fucking funny that the conversation is about Attack on Titan and One Piece being peak fiction, and the original line was delivered by someone named Weeb V4, and then it was replied to by somebody named X Lord of Anime. The, you, you could not write better usernames. You could not write more stereotypical usernames for this if you tried. I'm not making fun of you guys' as usernames, it's just funny how this particular interaction went. That's funny. What is Spy Family? I've heard a lot about Spy Family. I have not. That's the first thing I've ever read that mentioned something called Love After World or After World Domination. But what is Spy Family? Because I've heard a lot of people talk well about that. But I also heard people talk well about an anime called My Dress Up Darling, and from what I understand, there are no fight scenes in that anime, so I don't understand. Oh, a new anime, no fucking shit, what is it about? A spy family, don't say that shit, I will fist fight you, Twitch chat, if you say a spy family, I'm gonna lose my shit. It's a dude who's a spy having a kid who can read minds and a wife who's an assassin. Okay, so there's actually not more to it. It's just a spy family.
This is another shitty Legends Arceus song. I can feel it in my bones. It's not? Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Okay. Oh, we just came off a Legends Arceus song. Never mind. Later, Supernatural. Have a good night, bud. Basically, a spy needs to infiltrate a school to learn info on an enemy. To do that, he needs to get a daughter and a wife. The daughter is a telepath, the wife is an assassin, and nobody but the kid knows each other's activities. Interesting. It's not selling me so far. Oh, shit! Crunchyroll and Funimation combined! Yep. You know what anime I've weirdly been wanting to watch for, like, four years? That I never did because I didn't have a Funimation account? Um... I wanted to watch Assassination Classroom. I think I said that weird. I wanted to watch Assassination Classroom. I've heard that was decent. And I wanted to try uh, try that one out. And I never did because it was Funimation only. It wasn't on Crunchyroll for some reason. But now that Sony finally combined the fuckers... Dress Up Darling is a rom-com anime of some dude simping over a blonde, but the blonde likes him back. Slice of life. I think it's a poor way to describe that. Alright, we'll let it slide. Fascination Classroom is one of my favorites. I heard about it forever ago, and I was like, one day when I was on my weeb kick, I was like, I'm gonna look this up. And then it's not on Crunchyroll. I was like... I was like Spongebob, when he was like, is it possible to use those words together in a sentence like that? I was like... That was me flipping through. I was like, is it possible for the anime to not be on Crunchyroll? Like, trying to make it make sense. Where is One Punch Man Season 2? Didn't One Punch Man Season 2 come out a while ago? This song's a certified classic. In fact, almost every Gen 2 town theme on the list needs to be in this playlist. Every Gen 2 town theme is a fucking slapper. You dislike One Piece due to art style, you will love Mob Psycho. No, I fucking hated Mob Psycho. I don't know if you were there for my Mob Psycho rant, Tonio. But I tried. I, like, when I couldn't find Assassination Classroom, funnily enough, I was like, because I think this was right after I finished Demon Slayer. When I couldn't find Assassination Classroom, I was like, okay, people talk really highly of Mob Psycho. And I could barely stomach two episodes. I was like, this is the ugliest looking shit I've ever seen. And that's not to discredit the artists behind Mob Psycho, because when they want to draw some fire really good shit, they can. It's an active artistic choice that they draw that fucking dog shit. That makes me want to throw up. And that's the worst part. It's like it's like if fucking Patrick Mahomes actively chose to walk out on the NFL field and throw fucking duds into the dirt for every pass. He's the most talented guy in the fucking world. Why is he not just throwing dimes? I don't know. Is Gen 2 heart gold, soul, silver? No, technically Gen 2 is gold and silver. Um, Gen 4 is heart gold, soul, silver, the remakes. But you're not hearing the remake edition. This is the original Gen 2 gold and silver version. Gold, silver, crystal version. Uh, somebody was leaving. Blue fans, have a good night, bud. I'll never not be mad about the studio change. Yeah, they were killing it. One Punch Man looks so good. I was here for the rant. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to like Mob Psycho. I was like, I was geared up. I was like, everyone says this anime is great. Uh... You know, St. Anger, if you see St. Anger in chat, really, really loves Mob Psycho. It's like his favorite. I'm ready for some fucking action, some fights. Let's go. And it was just, it was just so ugly. And again, the worst part is that it's intentionally ugly. It's not like the people behind there aren't talented. They're very, very talented people. You've seen, see, they've seen that they draw in the anime that look good. And like the opening and, um, not even the opening, like, like the opening, the anime opening, but the first like five minutes of the anime itself. There are scenes that look really, really, really good. But most of it just looks like vomit. I'm gonna buy my wife a sealed heart gold soul silver. The sooner you can do that, the better, because the prices on those things go up like every fucking day. 
Those are expensive. Real men enjoy Dr. Stone? That's not a link for me. You're good. Um, I watched Dr. Stone. I enjoyed it. If your definition of enjoy is pretty loose. If your definition of enjoy is pretty loose, I enjoyed it. Dr. Stone's so weird to me. Because Dr. Stone has the capacity to have some of the cooler anime fights of the modern era. And they intentionally spend like 95% of their time doing everything they can to avoid those cool fights at all costs. Sometimes they happen anyway because they're inevitable in a way. But it's like, I get that the point isn't fighting. But why do you set up the opportunity for cool fights just to not do it? I don't know. Dr. Stone was fine. And I'll probably see what they do next because what they do next is, is very big compared to what the first two seasons did. Um, in the whole scope of things. So maybe I'll pick up reading it or something when I finish JJK, but... I watched the two seasons. I gave it a shot. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, the other thing that turned me off at Dr. Stone is I realized that, uh... I realized that... What, what is his name? S what the fuck is the main character's name? I don't want to fuck it up. It starts with an S. Fucking onion head. You know what I'm talking about. Senku. I made a connection. Like a little ways into season one. Where I realized that Senku is. Who Elon Musk thinks Elon Musk is. If you were to have someone present this scenario. Like let's just hypothetically Dr. Stone doesn't exist to the world yet. Right? If you were to present this scenario to Elon Musk and say, Okay, Elon, you're the main character. How would you write yourself? That's how Elon Musk would write himself. He'd be like, well, I'd be super cool and I'd tell people that I don't need all this other stuff because I have science. And then... It's not, it's not what Elon Musk actually is. It's not how other people view Elon Musk. It's how Elon Musk thinks... It's, ha it's how cool Elon Musk thinks Elon Musk would be. And when that... Light bulb went off of my brain. I, I couldn't look at it the same anymore. Uh, somebody typed. Apparently the Dr. Stone manga ending is pretty bad. Oh, did Dr. Stone end? Love after world domination is about the Red Power Ranger dating the a leader of the supervillains. It's pretty wholesome. Like, yeah, they're heroes and villains, but they're also dork teenagers, and they struggle to keep their relationship a secret. Wouldn't you just watch my dress-up darling at that point? Dr. Stone felt like if Sheldon was an anime? Yeah, that's one way to put it. That's a damn accurate opinion, right? Because, like, when, when that clicked in my head, nobody in the world was ever going to tell me I was wrong on that. When that clicked in my head, I was like, it's oddly specific, but it is absolutely correct. Dr. Stone ending was overblown how bad it was. Without going into spoiler territory, you want to know what ending that was bad, that was way overblown? Um, Demon Slayer. I read Demon Slayer through to, like, through the finish um, after I finished season two. Demon Slayer's ending is fine. Average. Above average, maybe. And I get that I read the edition that had been, like, reworked or finished or, like, there's an extra chapter at the end because I know the manga artist, she had to hurry it up because she had family emergencies. So she like rushed the end and then she came back and sort of fixed it afterwards. And I, I read the fixed version, so I never saw the initial one, but not the, with the, whatever version I read a couple months ago when I read it, I read that and I was like, this is fine. This is, this is a solid ending, you know, Demon Slayer. This is good. And then got rushed to hell initially, but it did get fixed. Okay, so I, the, the consensus was always that the fixed version was fine then. 
I read the new chapter. Uh, if it was at the end of the Shonen Jump, if the chapter showed up in my Shonen Jump list, then I read it. If I had to go out of my way to find it, then I actually haven't. How long is it? What is it, Narcissus? Using the bank Pokemon bank. Why do I feel like I've heard this tune a lot? But I've never used a Pokemon bank in my life. I wonder if Romhax uses. New chapter came out a week or two ago to Demon Slayer? I did not read it. I did not read anything about Demon Slayer a week or two ago. Don't fuck. Don't do that to me, Alex. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, son? An update of what happens after the end. Am I really going to pull Demon Slayer back up for another chapter? I never played Undertale. Undertale fans make me uncomfortable. Same. Mood. Good shit. You got a long road to recovery from that One Piece line, but you're doing great so far. This is a fucking Legends Arceus. One of the only four songs that plays in this whole goddamn game. Why did I click on the version with Legends Arceus? The version with Legends Arceus song, just to occasionally get pissed at it. Daro. I don't know if you've heard the news, Daro, but probably not this weekend because it's Easter weekend. But probably as soon as next weekend, Daro. I got a new character on a little on a little website on a little server we call TSRP breaking in. I don't know if that tickles your fancy at all or not, but uh just a heads up so you know what may be in the near future. Thank you for the 17 months, bud. How you doing? My body's ready. Yeah, should be just easing back into it a little bit. Easing back into it, getting reacquainted with everything, and then, you know, hopefully 1.0 soonish. Hopefully 1.0, two months or so. There's no new chapter out for Demon Slayer on Shona Plus. Fuck. Maybe I'll never know. Luckily, I played Undertale before people got weird. I think the main reason I didn't play Undertale is because, uh... Excuse me, is because, uh... I'm a streamer, right? If I made YouTube videos at the time when Undertale was popping off... You can make a YouTube video on Undertale and you're fine. But if you <clears throat> try to make... If you try to stream Undertale, Undertale fans are wild. They would hunt that directory just to tell people what option they should pick. And you could never be right because everybody wanted you to pick a different option. I have a link. Can I share it? A link to what? I'm living on the edge of calling somebody out right now. Because I don't want to make this bad decision alone. 
It's improper streamer etiquette. But so's a lot of shit I do. I didn't even know Undertale had a community. Oh, they had an annoying one. Oh, good. I don't have to call him out. Yeah, no, I, I heard you say that on stream, and I realized <laughs> my cover my cover had been blown. <laughs> I have uh, I keep my fuck my dashboard open all the time because exploit won't tell me my viewer count. You know the struggle, and it shows my active mods on there. So anytime a, a new mod shows up, it just pops in that they're in chat. Yeah, damn. I was like, I just heard you say that. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who could he be talking about? Thought I was making bad decisions tonight. And, uh, any uh, any any really bad ones? Really bad, Dada. Interesting. I was wondering if you would go down the road with me. Maybe I was thinking about firing up the old the old league. Oh, dude, you know that actually sounds exquisite. Do I have that downloaded? Oh, Chat. No most of me climb. thought he was gonna leave the call. <laughs> 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 no, I ain't got shit to do. Oh, I just have an update for the old league. What is it? Oh, I also probably have an update for League, actually. I don't think we get another Discord infiltration arc, but... I forgot my login. Did I really forget my login? Oh, wait, no, I mistyped. We're good. Do not risk work tomorrow. Go to bed, man. You've already... <laughs> You've already said your one piece. You've done enough. I saw. That's how I knew you were alive. Cause uh, I fucking just baited you. Ruin a little good opinion just to reel that shit back. Yeah, I got you too, did he? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was hanging on to every word. That was the guy who edited the, uh, the last time I played League when we, you did the Discord thing. He edited <laughs> yeah. that video. And they came back to me with this. I wonder how those kind of league players are doing these days. I hope somewhere out there they're still getting baited and not giving a shit. Oh, were we just talking <laughs> to a random adult? <laughs> Was that a completely minutes? different guy we just talked to for 40 minutes? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, nice win, you guys. Holy <laughs> we shit. We did Look. it. Let's go. I got 19 LP out of that. That's a steal. We were going through the nostalgia of a uh, dial-up internet earlier. Yeah, real nostalgic stuff, dude. Yeah, and the Gundam game on the Cartoon Network website. I don't know if I played that one. Everybody in chat did. And uh, cable, so like Nickelodeon was on 47 and Cartoon Network was on 63. And those were the channels. Until one day when they would randomly change for no fucking reason and then Jerry Springer was on and you had to refind it. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I think for me... Uh, like those channels were all really close together, like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and shit. We're like, like one away from each other. You had it lucky. Yeah, no, I, I was. It was pretty good. I would just go back and forth. I mean, hit up and down. That's that's really all I had to do. Like, <laughs> I would go to some motherfucker's house that and they had dish, and I was just like, "There's no way I have to scroll through hundreds of like." <laughs> I just want the two channels, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want the two channels. I do not need to stumble across fucking 80 different documentaries running at once. I don't really spend his whole life hitting up and then down. I'm sick. That was it. Disney Channel was also like in the middle. I think it was Nickelodeon was 30. It was 34, 35 and 36. I think. I'll just go. Up, 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 down, down, down. Depending what was uh, what was happening. Okay, my update's in. I'm ready. Oh, I'm also ready. As much as I don't want to be, I am ready. 
Do I have you? Uh, do I not have you on my main? Uh, I don't know. What is your? I think it's just Dadadoya. No way. The rank 2022 season. What is rank? Dado Doya and friend. Yikes, Dado Doya and you were oh we're already friends. Are you not, are you yeah, sure? I, oh I, there you are. I was gonna I was gonna say I can see you on my friends list. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but, that's hilarious is I'm pretty sure I had a league as of four days ago. And then decided that it was smart if I never play League again, so I removed it from existence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I found it. Okay, we're good. That was extreme. It's about to be. <laughs> now that I've been in League for all of five seconds, I give it ten more seconds and it'll be a cozy stream. Oh, where do you play, Dotto? Uh, how the fuck? Whoa, whoa, they moved this shit. Oh, it's way worse now. Yeah, classically. I was, I, I was gonna say, what happened? Why did they move it? This just seems more obnoxious. Yeah, people were too happy. I could literally play wherever. I'm just gonna go ADC or something. Or, yeah. Because you play, yeah, jungle and whatever. I'll do jungle top. Sometimes I'll duo with Balvin and, like, I usually just bite the bullet and play support, but when I don't, I main top and he mains ADC, and we just never see each other the whole fucking <laughs> the whole fucking game. We're just not interacting. That used to be like when I would do a Q with my friend. That would be we would go through phases because obviously League is uncontrollable. You cannot control your teammates and they're uh -huh. fucking great decisions. But we would do this thing where we would go the bot strat where we would just we would try like if we got a shit bot lane, we'd be like, all right, me and you support ADC will be the bot lane. And then like our top lane would fuck up, so we're like, all right, we'll split up. You go top, I'll go support or something, or ADC. That way we can control the most amount. And then our mid would feed, and I'll go, okay, I'll go feed. And yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'll go mid, and then we'll see if we can just luck into a good bot lane. That's me and playing then... solo queue. Because I'll, I'll do jungle and be like, every single laner I have is fucking dog shit. I have to fix this. So I'll go top. And then I go top, and I'll come out at 15 minutes, four kills ahead, and we're down 20 kills. And it's like, what is the point? I can't do anything from here. I know, but it's just fucking an endless, like, like just plugging up holes on a sinking ship. You can't fucking account for everybody's decision. Have you played the game recently enough to know anything about Ivern? Ivern? Ivern, yeah. Yeah, I used to main... <laughs> I used to play Ivern as a bit for a while. Well, Was, is he not trash anymore? Well, LS made him a popular mid laner, first off. But secondly, okay, that's, that's not what he used to be. No, he's, he's jungle still. Like he's supposed to be jungle, but he works in mid lane for stupid reasons. Same with Soraka does too. But anyway, that aside, a guy I was watching stream yesterday, um, queued up with a like one of the top Korean because he's in Korea. He queued up with one of the top Korean Rangar mains, mm -hmm. and the Rangar main said we're going bot, and they did Ivern Rangar ADC support. Because Ivern makes bushes. It was so gross. <laughs> that... Oh, I yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it was disgusting. Rengar could literally hop from anywhere in the lane to anywhere in the lane because Ivern can make a bush in half a second. I used to... Uh, obviously, this is back in the day, so I don't know what the fuck Ivern be doing now. But like, he was really bad. Like His win percentage was trash. So I played him in jungle just as like a, like a fun thing, but also because I realized that... My teammates were feeding, and Ivern had such a strong, just you click E Seth, on them and they get 50. a shield, and also they explode if they keep the shield. So I'm like, if my teammates are going to run in and feed, like this is actually Appreciate kind you, of Seth, useful, because the shield will explode and help them do damage. Uh, and that's just basically how I got most of my wins. Also, Daisy, his ultimate, a pretty fucking useful, I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I was, uh, I was keeping up with the league scene for a while because a streamer I really like became the coach of Cloud9, and then they won like every game, and then unexplainably fired the coach. I saw. I that. think I saw that. I think I just saw somebody got fired. I, I was heartbroken, man. <laughs> I have not kept up with the scene since, but I still watch that streamer. He's the one who was dueling with the rank army. Always for Demacia. Oh no, dude! It was looking like such a classic league game that I'd be able to keep track of, and then they picked a pirate. I have no idea who the fuck that is. Samira. 
Uh, she's a real pain in the ass, just a heads up. Like, best of luck to you and yours, but holy shit. Damn, what the f- Damn, they changed Cassidy's profile pic. Who the That's fuck recent. is this guy? That's very <laughs> recent. Did they give him a visual overhaul at all, or does he still look like trash? I think they overhauled him, but I don't know. I haven't played this game since the last time you hopped a Discord call with somebody. Since we're just play Oh, who the- f Oh, it's the- Is that the doll character, Gwen? Yes. Like, she has scissors. Oh, my God. She is broken, and having her on our team is a blessing. Oh, let's go. I need to look at the newest champions because I remember my big critique was that they were just releasing anime characters for a while. Like it was just anime character after anime character. People started to notice a trend that <clears throat> all they got, and I guess it's sort of to make things right in the world perfectly balanced as all things should be and all that, but uh, people started to notice a trend that all of the guy characters were super hot. Like that was it, just every guy character that came out was just <laughs> ripped. I <laughs> said, so what is this? Which, again, balances how the first half of League went, because it was the exact opposite. Yeah, Later, we have a fun at work uh, tomorrow. I think League really hit the ground running with doing the exact opposite of that. Yeah. <laughs> really good way to bring it in. Have you ever listened to... And not that I look it up or anything. Have you ever listened to, like... It's like Korean Ari dying noises? No. <laughs> no. You, if I didn't tell you what you were listening to, you would guess you were listening to something very different. <laughs> I used to think, uh, I will say, there is just something about Ari that it, it's just, it doesn't look like a, a video game character. Like, like League used to have these, they still did for a while, honestly, even when the game got really popular, but they would promote the game with these like YouTube banner ads and like banner ads everywhere. And I would see Ari and Katarina and go, yeah, nice try, you fucking scam artist, bro. I've seen these exact advertisements before. I know better. This shit gonna <clears throat> give me a whole ass virus. Okay, the League of Legends store has been simplified to the point of telling me what I should buy. Uh, I, I got my, bad news, Buy my trinket, never mind, I am, I am built stupid. I got real bad news, daughter. Can you hear me? 